So welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while. I've been traveling a lot over the last Christmas period or the last uh, month or two. Um, had this for a while, so I thought I'd do an unboxing. It is a Bond related item. So uh, let me open it up. So it's perfect timing because there is currently, I don't know if you can hear it, but a uh, big storm outside. Very heavy rain. So I purchased this from End Clothing. Uh, they're currently doing a really good kind of uh, New Year sale on this item. So it usually retails for about £399. And I think I got this for around £240. So it is... the Arbor Beacon Sports Jacket. So Daniel Craig wears this in uh, Skyfall in 2012. And I have had this jacket before, but I uh, lost it while I was traveling. Uh, so I thought I'd get another one. There you go. So Barber, for those of you who don't know the brand, has been around for, I think, 18, something like 1888 or something. Like that. So it's a very old brand, uh, known in the UK as being like a kind of a hunting jacket. Basically, their, their signature jackets are the wax jackets. And this is uh, the variation that Daniel Craig wore in 2012. So about the jacket, it's quite a slim fit. Usually uh, kind of the signature style of these big kind of billowing pockets on a lot of their um, jackets. So this one's much more slim fitting. So if you're, I, I bought this online because I knew what the size was, but if you're thinking about buying this jacket, I'd recommend going into the store and uh, purchasing it. Uh, so you can try it on because it doesn't fit like the, some of the other jackets. So uh, make sure you get it, make sure you get the right size. So the original version, there's been lots of versions over the years. Uh, the original version was designed by a Japanese designer called Yoshida, I think it was. And um, that was the 2012, 2013 kind of version. That sold out very quickly. And then since then, they've made probably four or five variations of the jacket. And this is the latest one, which is meant to be most similar to uh, the version that Daniel Craig wore in Skyfall. So it's got these great big pockets, signature style up front. And it's got a little pocket up here. So this is meant to be styled after a hunting slash motorcycle kind of jacket. Apparently the Japanese designer was a big fly fishing fan as well. So it's got kind of various different elements in there. So opening it up, it's got the barber label doesn't, doesn't say much about not too much got the little inside pocket here and you've got the, the leather uh, collar here which is quite nice so turning it over on the back you've got these extra elbow pads And you've got these weird pockets at the back. So I believe these are called poachers pockets. Oh, it's uh, kind of referring back to, you know, the, the hunting heritage that this has. So this pocket goes all the way through. So I don't know, keep a pheasant in there or something. Or if you're fly fishing with this jacket, then some fly fishing gear. It's a bit of a weird placement because you're kind of sitting on it. But overall, um, yeah, just a quick overview. It's a really cool jacket. Highly recommend it, especially with all the discounts on at the moment. But I would go in and uh, try it on if you're looking to buy one, because it can be a weird size compared to the jackets with its uh, tight fitting. But overall, it'll last you a long time. Uh, again, Barber is a really good brand. 
in terms of, you know, they can send them off to get repaired uh, in their, I think it's South Shields is where their factory is. Most of the, the uh, most of the stuff they make in the UK. There's a bit of a story. Okay, so it was 1894. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think of this jacket, if you own it or thinking about getting it. And uh, thanks for watching.